Earlier today, my team and I visited one of the most haunted pubs in England, the Black Swan Inn in York. Built in 1417, it's full of history and is famous for its many ghost stories. We wanted to find out more, so come and join us on our journey. Can you just tell us a bit about the history of this room in particular? This would have been like the main sort of downstairs living area of okay. the first of the houses and then there's a, a matching room the other side of the corridor that would have been like like semi-detached now yeah but very old that would have been the uh, stable yard because when this was and at some point in history and we don't know when um, turned into a pub it was a coaching inn the York City Centre was a lot sort of more compact then so this wasn't really part of the centre it was an outskirt sort of thing there actually used to be um, in this tiny little area, sort of this little crossroads, there were five pubs at one point. Wow. That's, that's how big of a hub it was because of that sort of London to York yeah. transport links. So there'd have been carriages and messengers and highwaymen and all sorts of famous story, of course, of Dick Turpin riding to York in one yeah. go with his horse. So underneath here... Yes. Is, um, apart from, like, newly added structs holding up the staircase is yeah. what we use as a wine cellar and what that is supposed to be is a passage underneath the road at the front to the church that's just off to the right as you go under wow um which and that sort of goes with there's some priest holes dotted around as well so of oh, course okay. when henry the eighth was busy burning monasteries down and generally being very angry with all the Catholics. Yeah. This is where the passages and the priest holes came into play. Oh my gosh. So there's a story of, um, I think it was one of the cleaners telling us about the window down there. Someone, a visitor had taken a photo of the window and they'd seen like a monk in the corner yeah. of the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's amazing actually how much um, we get sent to us quite a lot. People have taken pictures and there'll yeah. be like a reflection in the mirror that's not actually in the room. Yeah. Or there'll be like someone in the window. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> Should we head upstairs and then go into yeah, we'll, these rooms? Yeah, we'll show you. Nobody knows um, who the artist is. If you actually look really closely, he's painted like faces and different things into the panelling. That's um, so cool. There's one I'll show you in a bit because it's in that corner, but there's a skeleton, like a skull. Um, oh we God. don't know who the artist is. We want to find out who the artist is, yeah. but we only know his initials, and his initials are WWW, which oh. makes it very, very hard <laughs> oh my God. to okay. like, do a Google search. There's one just here. Can you see, like, the skull here? So there's the eye sockets there. Oh, my God, And the yeah. nose sockets, and then the top of his spine there. Is that... How is that that's there? That's painted. So right, these okay. are wood, but then these bits, it's not actually recessed. It's painted to look like it's circular. This is all just flat. But when he's done right. that, which was all he was supposed to be doing, so yeah. the story goes, um, he then added all these like faces and like, you know, there's another one there. Um, and this is the same guy that painted same guy, yeah, that. All of it, yeah. Wow. So, like, one of the girls that works here tells me that she's absolutely convinced there's a plague doctor painted into one of these. I've never seen that one, but like, quite often people say, "Oh, you know, did you know there's like a, you know, a dancing bear, or did you know there's like a, you know, wow. like a procession of like soldiers?" I'm like, "No, I, di I didn't know. There's there's so many of them." Are you able to just tell us about? Um some of the stories that some guests have told you or other staff members about when they've stayed over? Uh, yeah, so we've had like loads of guests come to do like their own haunted um, nights, ghost hunting, and we have like professional events. One of the guys once came in with his wife and he was doing like ghost hunting and everything. But every time he left the room, his like monitor would like beep and buzz really loudly. But as soon as he came back um, to join his wife to see it happening, it would stop completely. So the wife wow. was always quite freaked out and I think they left earlier than planned as well because she didn't like it. Yeah, I'm not surprised. So, but a lot of guests who have stayed here say they hear things at night time. Um, I think the weirdest one I was told by a customer actually that um, they heard a baby crying. So oh my gosh. She left in the middle of the night. Wow. Her daughter came back to pick up her stuff because she wouldn't come back. Wow. So, God, imagine being that scared. Yeah, I was told that like I think a year after I'd started working here that the woman was freaked out so she'd left 
and sent her daughter here to get the stuff that she just completely abandoned. The pub itself is like its own separate like entity. It's it's so old and it's it's got such character that regardless of like whether the person running it, like I like to think I'm I'm running it well, but even if someone was running it badly, the pub itself would still be amazing. Yeah. You, you can't ever take that from it. Like you could yeah. mess up like what you were offering so badly but the pub would will always be just this like gorgeous gem like yeah. right in the heart of your absolutely and when we're even when we're sat here now there's like little things from the past like yeah. you were saying to me earlier that pipe over there um yeah so they found that when they were doing renovations um a really long time ago and they just sort of um, like rubbish threw it away and Apparently, like that, the whole building just got like freezing cold, and they couldn't figure out why until someone fetched this pipe back in, and then it went back to normal, which is why it's locked in that case. It really is such an interesting place and holds so much character. Yeah. After a day at the pub, we finished filming and found the whole experience very interesting, from learning about the long history to the famous ghost stories. If only walls could talk. I wonder what they would say.